All right, folks, how you doing? So I've been reading recently, there's apparently plans to colonize Mars, human colonization of Mars. Would that be a good idea? Absolutely fucking not. It would be a terrible idea. Why? Well, based upon what I've read in the Mars mystery so far by Graham Hancock and other sources, Mars is very heavily cratered. And I forget what book I was reading the other day, but it made this excellent point that really struck home. Scientists at NASA don't know whether to classify Mars as a former terrestrial planet or a lunar planet. And that is quite profound because I would say that it used to be terrestrial and now it's a lunar planet, like a moon, because it's only half the size of the Earth for one thing. The two moons of Mars, by the way, Deimos and Phobos, are named after the gods of fear and terror in mythology, so that alone should tell you it's a fucking terrible idea. But it went from a terrestrial Earth-like planet to being like our moon, as in it's full of craters and it's a dead world. There's nothing on it. But more to the point, you know, Mars is a planet of trauma. Anyone who lived there for any significant time would go insane. It's a terrible idea because Mars is deeply traumatized physically and, you know, in every other way, particularly the southern uplands and the craters Hellas, Isidus and Argyre. You know, it's right next to this big freaking asteroid field between, you know, Mars and Jupiter. Mars has been whacked into so many times, you know. What is it? Hancock likens it to have been uh, sprayed by a shotgun. And then the three comets, Hellas, Isidus, and Argyre, were like uh, rifle shots, like to the dead corpse. You know, Mars is dead. Forget about Mars. If you're talking about colonizing planets, look to the likes of Titan or Europa, the moons of um, of Jupiter or Saturn. But forget about anything nearby. You know, forget about the moon. Forget about Mars. They're dead. You know, uh, they're gone. And look at all the craters on them. You know, that should tell you everything you need to know. You know, uh, the fact that these terrestrial bodies are absolutely, you know, loaded with craters that have been smashed into time and time and time again. You know, terrible idea. No, look, you have to look beyond Mars. Look to the moons of the so-called gas giants, which are actually sub brown dwarf stars. Jupiter and Saturn. Look to Titan. Look to Europa. Forget about Mars. Mars is dead. Mars is never coming back. You know, look at the Valley Marineris, the big scar right across the surface. Look at Olympus Mons, the big monster volcano. You know, uh, no, Mars is a cautionary tale. You know, Mars, I'll get into more in future videos what I mean by that. But Mars is dead. Mars is gone. Forget that. You know, Mars is perfectly summarized by Graham Hancock as a murder victim. You know, it likens it to a dead corpse, you know, a, a victim of murder. Mars, you know, just the fact alone that its moons are named terror and fear should tell you not really a very good idea. But anyway, that's my thoughts on the subject. Let me know yours.